all eyes was on me. I, mean, I was always sweating in the hands and stuff. I was always nervous. My mom and my dad was there. It made me, it made me feel like walking out the damn room. <laughs> That's what it made me feel like, dude. I feel like just canceling this and be like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> it was too much attention. First of all, I don't care about him feeling uncomfortable. I know where that feeling is coming. That feeling is coming from a place where I don't know what's going on here. And this is different. The problem is when a kid doesn't want to be in circle, it's because I don't trust you, so I can't trust that process. So we have more relationship building to do. So Pierre, uh, I like the quote, self-sufficiency isn't a destination, it's an everlasting journey. Yeah, yeah. This is going to be our talking piece. When you have a talking piece, you're the only one that's talking. But it gives everybody else permission to listen. So the listeners are the most important. We may do a round. So when you were a kid. When you wanted to be when you was a little kid. This kid went through a lot of the same things that I went through when I was a kid. And if not me, definitely somebody that I know. It allows us to empathize when everybody has to answer those questions. When I was a kid, I always loved working with kids, and so I found the field of school psychology. And when I was a child, I remember my main thing was wanting to be a cosmetologist. To be actually still now, I wanted to be a race car driver. <laughs> <laughs> As a kid, I wanted to be a preacher. When I was a little girl, I really wanted to be a singer. I wanted to make my community better. I've always wanted to be a healer. I think that I'm in the process of doing that now. I always wanted to be happy, and I am. And when it gets to Cedric, we're all listening for... My name is Cedric. What makes him like us? What I want to do now is uh, play football. It lets the people in circle know that we're all pretty much the same. We're here to welcome, support, and navigate him through this school year. And hopefully, through the rest of his life. So, in this next round, we're going to agree on the things that we need in order to be able to have this conversation. This talking piece gives everybody else permission to listen deeply. Without values, we're not listening deeply. We're waiting on our opportunity to talk. If there's a value that you don't agree with, we're going to do another round and tell them agree with that value we'll talk about. Commitment. Respect. Always speak your truth. Integrity. Compassion. Honesty. Forgiveness. Empathy. It's important to be connected. Sensitivity. Discipline. I started noticing that I wasn't here to stereotype me. I was here to help me and see what was going on in my head. So I start to loosen up a little bit. Self-confidence. Last year, I didn't have confidence. I would tell you, I always get kicked out of class for smelling like a pound of weed in class. So I was doing bad at last year. An open heart. All right. We're going to talk about what do you have to give to support Central. And, and I want you to talk directly to Central. I'm the person who you can come to any time of day. I am the person who will be your brother, who will be your uncle. I got your back. I got stuff for you. Come and get it. Especially our kids, study keeping it real. That's their whole life. Who's real, who's not real. And they can tell better than any one of us if you're keeping it real. And I say this in front of everybody, because if I don't, I need all of these people to hold me accountable. I'm the person that's always going to be honest with you. I'm the person you can count on. I'm the person you can also just say, hey, I need to talk to you, even if you need that. But I'm also going to be that person that loves you, loves you to death. All right? 
<laughs> and I am the person who's going to ensure that you will get your high school diploma and beyond with your life. <laughs> oh no, y'all just, oh no, y'all touched me. Y'all touched me, y'all made me feel like, like I can do it. I'm gonna be the person that reminds you that you can be whatever you wanna be. At first I couldn't trust them. But then they looked me dead in the eye. They started telling the truth about how they really felt and what they can do. So I was like, okay, I can give them a chance. I'm the person who you can relate to in school. I'm the person who is also walking the road of success and I reach my hand out to you. Mm -hmm. with me. Thank you all of y'all to do a circle like this for me tomorrow. <laughs> the change of the culture begins to form. So now we're going to talk about needs, which is kind of like the hardest thing that we need to talk about. Whatever your needs are, I don't want you to shy away from them. Let us say no. Don't assume that we're going to say no. For me, my number one goal is I want him to hear how each one of us are prepared to support him. And I want him to challenge us when he feels like he needs that support that we promised him. I'm gonna need you to be open and fearless because this road to your success is gonna to be tough. And I will walk through the fire with you, but you gotta come with me. I'm gonna need you to have the most confidence in the world ain't working, nobody tell you nothing about your education doesn't come first. There's never been a situation where everybody in his school life was so concerned about her kid's well-being and you're going to be the main focus of that circle. She's never been the main focus of nothing, probably. Whenever you need to talk to somebody and you need that confidence from someone, calm mm -hmm. And you talk. I never listen to my mom like that. It's hard. I need you to you know, grow to be a man who you want to follow from. That's what I need from you. Because sometimes when I ask you, I need some help. And when you feel when I say I need you, you look at me sometimes and give me a head nod. I'm like, no, talk to me. Talk to me. Because I don't know what's on your mind. I was like, I do have to start talking to him more because I just go out and do whatever I want. I do stuff like my father was supposed to do. Like, I was peer pressured to do all the stuff I was doing. I just did it because my family needed I'd rather not pass on any time being around you. I just want you to grow and understand who you are. Thank you. I just need to keep myself motivated. Mm -hmm. I know I can do it, I just don't be motivated. Everybody in this room got your back. Mm -hmm. And I need you to believe when everybody in this room say they're here for you, that you trust us. And I need for you to fall back a little bit from that man role and taking the lead and just be a young man mm -hmm. and enjoy this journey to being a man. And one thing that I know so much is that you love that woman right there so much. That's your heart right there. And you would drop on a dime for that, that your mother. Do you understand? And I know that you carry a heavy load sometimes because you worry about her. You worry about your family. I know that. I worry for you worrying about your family. And sometimes I think you're worrying about your family is the reason why you've made some of the decisions in your life that you've made. But those decisions in life need to change because you've got a network of people. And let some of us worry about that load, but you gotta tell us. You gotta tell us. And I need for mom to tell us too because we wanna help. We're not against you, we for you. I love your son, and out of loving your son, I love you. Mm -hmm. Because I know how much he loves you. Right. And we're here for you. I'm going to be here for you. You hear me? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Mom used to smash on me about me coming in hella late. I'll be like, 
I was helping her pay rent in all nine. So I really felt like I was the man of the house. You're not the Cedric on paper. Yes. But you're greater than that. On so many levels said, I am you. <laughs> and I know there's some good things about me, but it took a long time for me to make those changes. And I had to accept people around me and accept the help that they were offering to give me because I was so closed-minded thinking I had to do it all myself. I need you to continue to be more open and more honest because it's all about your growth and development. And I need to, when there's something getting in the way, tell us so we can help you and be there with you. What I need from you is to keep coming back to the circle. Bring your successes to the circle to share with others and bring your challenges back to the circle so we can support your needs. You need to know how important you are. You're here to do something. I don't know what that is, but it's up to you to figure that out. I, I need to break away from this script, and I need to ask mine. How can we support you? That's where, that's where it all comes from. I just need everybody to support my side. Can I have that? Please. <laughs> yeah. Mom is in need. If anybody knows any jobs, because I know that's what be on his mind all the time. Well, you know, I probably wouldn't be into this if he wasn't struggling. I just did it because my family needed it. On campus, go to person. That will be me. What supports are necessary for the student's success, and how will he receive it? What do you need help? That the I need you to tour and will be available. Absolutely. We have other resources on there that's not in the school. And I'll introduce you to all those guests. Who will monitor the plan? Contrell's going to monitor the plan. Michelle is going to monitor the plan. KP is going to monitor the plan. Going to monitor the plan. Mama is going to monitor the plan. Have you had an internship yet? I'm okay. currently in the internship right now. Excellent. This is what your plan looks like. Let's come back in 30 days and we're going to look at the progress. Next time we meet, we're going to celebrate. We're going to end this conference by showing Cedric and his mother some love. So everybody, if you would just line up and just um, offer Cedric and his mother a hand and a smile, and, and, and we're just going to show them some love right now. I never, I never got along with teachers. It's really heartwarming for me to sit in a collaborative. And it's time for us to stop being cowards and fix the mess that we made. And my heart is dancing. And our young people don't come to us adults because we don't come through with what we say we're going to do. Today I felt like these people in this room meant and said what they mean. This circle here was real powerful. You know, just to look at everybody's face and to really say that. I love this circle, so thank you. They cried, they laughed. Now we gotta keep our work.